everyone, this is Julia. Today I'm going to show you how I've been making journals out of vintage photo folders. They just turn out so cute. And I'm going to show you how I make the, made this one today, start to finish. The vintage photo folders have been around for a long time. And back in the day, all the professional photos came in one of these little folders and just a variety of different shapes, different sizes, different colors. Um, and you can kind of tell some of them are older than others. Um, they make wonderful full, um, journal covers for a couple different reasons. Um, first of all, I like, I like the uh, quality and the, and the strength of the folder themselves. They're just a nice, a nice um, weight. I love the colors. They look so vintage and just you just want to open them when you see them. Um, another thing I really like about them is that a lot of them have their own kind of built-in closure for the journal. So you don't even really have to do your own little um, closure. It just kind of it's kind of right um, in part part of the folder. Um, and so I'm kind of looking through the ones that I have recently picked up. A little bit about where I find them. A lot of you may have some up in the attic somewhere or a relative that has them. Um, but I'm kind of ran out of relatives here so I don't have any left in my family because I've been using these for quite a while for journals. So I, I hunt for them. They're, I get them at flea markets, I get them at yard sales and also es estate sales are a great place to find them. And I've been kind of looking through the ones that I want to work on today and the one that I want to show you how I met the process. And I, I think I'm going to do this one. Um, nope, that's not it. Hang on here. I think it maybe was this one. Yep, this one. It has such a wonderful little picture in there, a baby picture. And I'm thinking I'm going to use that picture to decorate the front somehow. So let's get started. I will be using my cinch to, to bind my little journal. If you don't have a cinch, another way you can do this is to just to use a single um, signature and the pamphlet stitch. But I am going to be using my cinch and this is kind of a shorter little booklet. Um, so and I, it, about 11 rings is all I'm going to need on this. So I'm going to set this aside for right now and I'm going to show you some of the papers that I have gathered to put in my little booklet. I like to just to go through my stuff and my stash and just to draw out some interesting things. Um, I found these at, a, at the flea market. They're just like a little, I think they probably were from some kind of teaching um, booklet or something. thought those are interesting. I, I love to add tags, so I've got a lot of tags laid out here. And um, This is like a tea dyed um, just an index card that I um, that I tea dyed. I also found a bunch of really interesting an old journal at um, yard sale. I love it because it actually has the numbers in the up in the corner. Um, so I'm going to have to cut these down, but I want to cut them in such a way that those numbers will stay because I just think they're so sweet. Um, another thing I use this is just some. I think it was just some just some printing paper or something with a little bit of an interest to it. Um, I also have some tea dyed paper. This is just regular printing paper that I tea dyed. And I also love tea dyeing composition paper, just from those inexpensive composition books that you can pick up at all over the dollar store. Um, and I have to, again, cut this down because this is really, really wide. I have a video on how I do this composition paper, how I tea dye it. I love the way it turns out. Um, and it's just been great for journals because it is so wide. Some of my journals are this wide, so I don't have to do any any cutting or whatever. So that's I'm going to include to scrapbooking paper, 12 by 12, that will have to be cut down too. But I'm going to show you how I make little folders for journals that I use with the cinch. And so I'm going to be doing some trimming, and I'm going to come back with my papers all trimmed, and then I'll show you how I go ahead and make the little folders. I have my pages pretty much cut to size and all my little tags and everything's kind of gathered up here. I did add fiber to the ends of some of my tags because 
I have to do something with fiber or fabric in every project. So anyway, that's that part of it. Another thing I just found were these a super old envelope and it does have a three cent stamp on it and it's stamped Jamestown, North Dakota, 1947. So I thought that was really sweet. I'm going to stick it in there. Both ends are open so I'll stick a little tag or something in each, each little pocket. So that I'm going to stick in there. Now on to the folders. I did complete one already. Um, it's basically I just folded a piece of cardstock, cut down to size in half, and then I sewed across the bottom just a little strip so that I'll be able to stick a tag on both sides. And this is where the coil is going to go. So I did not have to do any sewing on this side at all. It was just a little bit of one stitch line across the bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, another, another little folder I decided to stick in here too is it's just a double piece of double sided cardstock. And this was a small six by six piece. And I'll be able to stick a, a little tag going this way. And the coils will be punched right here. And on the back side of this would be an awesome place to mount a photo or whatever anybody who wants wants to do with it. The first thing that you have to do before you actually start using the cinch is you have to remove this front cover and I just basically cut that off. And while I was filming I kind of made a mistake so I actually have the back side already cinched. This is such a cool little machine because the coils will sit right on the side here. So as you go ahead and use the cinch, you can just keep them in order. And so I'm going to go ahead and get the next little, little bundle here. The next thing I'm going to cinch are these little tags. And I'm going to stick all three of them in at once here. Um, and I can kind of see the center mark, so it's easy to do. The, the trick about the cinch, I find, is just to making sure that it's all the way to the back of this. Making sure that it's all the way to the back before you actually bring down the lever. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place these on. The next little booklet that I have, I just kind of have these kind of figured out in order here. And I want to make sure that everything is all the way to the crease. Everything is lined up the way I want it. This cinch can actually go through quite a, quite a few layers. So I'm just going to stick it in there making sure once again that it's all the way to the back and then pull it down. And then just flip it on. The next little booklet is just one of these little folders. So I'm going to slide that in all the way to the back, pull down my lever. I'm going to finish up the rest of this and I'll be back to show you the cover. Okay, one left and that's the cover. I'm going to slide it all the way in, pull down and put it into place. And so now it's a matter of closing up the coils and there's a nice little place in the back just to do that. So I just place it in here making sure again that everything is all the way to the back and then pushing down on this. Put this aside and I have my little booklet filled with all sorts of goodies. Okay, let's get on to decorating the cover of this cute little journal. I tell you, I couldn't use the, orig the original photo. It was just too cute. And so what I did on the the back side is I just added a piece of cardstock right where the pic photo was. That way the next person who, who gets this little journal can put a little 
their own little photo there or a little verse or whatever. And I'm going to keep the original photo. I'll <laughs> I have a whole drawer of these and I, I don't know they're just so sweet I have such a hard time adding them to projects so I actually just copied it off on just reg on my regular printer and uh, co printer copier and then I cut it out and so I'm gonna be using this one instead I decided to go with just a reg just a tag for the front and it's kind of a long skinny section so I kind of cut a long skinny tag. So let's go ahead and just decorate this up a little bit. I have a, three different colors of Distress inks here and let's see I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the Broken China. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been such a fun, um, fun day. Just working in my studio and and working on these these folders. These and keep on lookout for them if you ever happen to come across some and and just create and make a cute little journal.